Brockman. And I'm teen sensation Britney Spears. <laughs> and I'm Ken Brockman. <laughs> With Britney Spears. And we're here to present the 65th Annual Spring Field Pride of Awards. Tonight, we'll be recognizing outstanding members of the Springfield community. This is my year, Mark. Everyone knows I'm what makes this city great. I don't know. There's a lot of buzz around Lenny. Our first Springfield Pride Award goes to a local legend, a man who brings laughter and joy to the children of Springfield. <gasps> With his big red nose and baggy pants. Krusty the Clown! Hey, hey! What? Who are you? Seat filler. Uh. Hmm. Everyone gets an award but me. I can't help it if I donated the most blood. Oh, I'm feeling kind of woozy. Mm. Oh, why won't anyone give me an award? You want a Grammy? I mean, an award that's worth winning. You know, Kent, in today's youth-obsessed culture, we sometimes forget that older people are still alive. I told you! Well, sorry. And that's why our final award honors a man who's lived in Springfield for 108 years. Our oldest resident, Cornelius Chapman. Cornelius Chapman built the first log cabin in Springfield and introduced the toothbrush to our fair city. Mm. <laughs> for years, he was Springfield's only basketball player, but he still managed to entertain the crowd. In the market crash of 1929, he helped people jump out of windows to avoid disgrace. You're doing the right thing. Oh, oh, out you go. Oh. <laughs> My, you're a big one. No, 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 turning back now. Oh, off a tall building. That's a great way to do it. And in 1935, our honoree took a bullet for Huey Long. Oh. Oh. <laughs> and now, Springfield's oldest citizen, he is like totally venerable, Cornelius Chapman. Well, guess we should have expected that. Well, this award has to go to somebody. Would everyone who is 60 or older please stand up? Over 80. 90. 100 years old? Homer, sit down. What's that, Sonny? <laughs> This is all so sudden. D uh, don't give me that kiss of death, you black widow. Boy, he didn't want to let go of that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. I, I don't have a speech prepared, but uh, abracadaver. Thank you all so much. I love Springfield, from the cuddliest infant to the puppies, patriotism, bluebirds. <laughs> I'm not reading this drivel. This speech is over. Well, that was a great night for us all. That's not an award. That's part of the set. Nothing you can say will diminish this honor.